One of the nice things that's happened in the last 20 years is development economics has become much more central to, to economics as a field, and that's a great thing. It's climate change, it's inequality, it's growth, it's migration, it's, it's uh, trade. Economists have a lot to say about these views, but mostly nobody's listening to them. We did a horrible job of predicting the 2009 crisis, but we've been doing a horrible job for a long time. We presume to predict and do a lousy job. I, th I wish, I, I think prediction is too hard and I wish we would shut up. We have this way of speaking to the world, which is sort of like an oracle. We pronounce, we, we say 7% growth, trade is good for everybody, or you know, whatever we want to say. We say it with such confidence and so little attempt to explain the, the nuances and the reasoning behind these things that, and that undermines credibility eventually. What we try to do is to, is to get people into the heart of the argument, to sort of think about why what they might think is kind of uh, receive wisdom is not as obvious as they might think and may indeed be wrong. I would love it if people kind of start talking about economics using the vocabulary we provide. We, we try to provide a kind of a rich enough discourse for people to use, which is hopefully relatively jargon-free but and relatively clearly written, inviting people into the conversation. We love it. I mean, we don't necessarily think that everybody's going to, you know, read the book and say, okay, got, got it. Now everything's fixed for us. But I, I hope that they have some sense in which it's worth engaging in the argument. These guys are not just stooges of, you know, whatever, the world capitalist conspiracy or something.